Oh my gosh, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time reseller. A thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I'm back at the Goodwill Bins, like always, for another treasure hunt. So let's get our butts in there and see what we can find today. Look, Mother Nature decided to bless us with more puddles of rain, more storms, my poor cousin Amanda's garage got ripped off of her um, house last night, so hopefully her insurance will take care of that. Thank goodness nobody was hurt. But let's go in and see what we can find today. Okay, let's start with this glass. I forgot to ask Jim if they brought it out today or not. Poor Santa's broken. Broken. I still have a lot of stuff that I got from the flea market to sell. Um, so make sure you guys tune in to uh, my channel Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time. That's a fairy lamp. That is a different kind of fairy lamp with birds on it. It's just made in China. I don't like the way it sits on there. It's cheap. I'm not going to get it. Um... So yeah, make sure you guys tune in to, right here to my channel, 6 p.m. Central Time, for a really fun live sale. I have lots of art glass, really fun vintage stuff. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, let's see if there's anything on this side. I'm thinking that they probably haven't brought these out today because they look pretty sparse. I think there's really not a whole lot in there. Look at that, that's weird. It's new, but it's like ceramic. It's, it's like a wind time. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. <laughs> That's pretty. It's signed, but it's chipped. It's chipped really bad. I don't see anything in these glass bins. Okay, let's go um, check out the hard goods. Okay, this is the last hard that they did. What in the world is this? Middle age. That time of life when we try to use up all Mother Nature gave us before Father Time takes it. Ooh, five hard, and I'm right in the right spot. That's so kitschy. It needs a little cleaning, but I'm gonna stick that in there because it's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. 
All right, they're gonna take the bins that are beside me, but I'm gonna look right here because I am not moving. She'll be here in a little bit. Oops, I threw a record on the floor. Pick it up. But yeah, they're taking away these this row right here and they're gonna bring out some new hard goods all right let's see what rolls out in front of me here This is what rolled out in front of me. Nothing that I want. But we will dig for a minute and see. Remember the rules. Again. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I did see something roll out down here, but it's probably gone already. It was like a wooden box. There it is. bunch of strawberry shortcake figures. You guys, look at this awesome vintage metal refrigerator. Obviously it has wear from age, but who can, look at the handles are red. Get that. It's in the bins and it doesn't weigh a whole lot. That is so cool. Found that in the new bins right here. Suitcases and oh, another cutie baby. I'll take that. Oh my gosh, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. <laughs> oh, it's a family painting. I love it. Look at this girl. She's adorable. I think she's like supposed to like hang or something. Maybe she swings, but she sits. I don't know. See, because she's like a little shelf. She's so cute. You want to show my people the hat? It's a cool hat. Cool hat. It's falling apart, but she can clean it. I love it how we pick up different things. Oh, there's Garth. But it's just the cover. And a little kid screaming their head off in here. And the stars book. Look at this trapper keeper. This is so cool. It is so vintage and awesome, but unfortunately it's ripped. It's ripped in the back. Really bad right there and right there. That is super cool. Here's an old doll. And then look at this old 
wooden thing. My mom would say bad juju. <laughs> that stuff creeps her out. I don't know if anybody would want it or not. But look at this. Oh my gosh, screaming kid. Look at this vintage top. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but look at six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians. It's kind of controversial, but I like it. So it's going in my cart. Cause I think it's cool. So there is like a whole collection of little um, dolls in here. So I might pick up a few of these. I might pick up a few of these little dolls and lot them up in a lot together. I don't know. Hey, Omar. I'm good. How are you? See, here's more of them. It's okay. No. I'm bummed because I just found this vintage hula girl. And I put batteries in her. And she sings. But she doesn't move anymore. She doesn't dance. Like something she's broken so bummer she's super cool though i can see another kitschy thing back here that kind of matches that other thing that wooden thing that i got maybe i'll pair them together oh cool alex found a whole bunch of thank you stickers so i'm gonna take those as well. Maybe I'll pair these two wooden things together because they're cool. I like them and they kind of look good together. There is a bunch of screaming kids in here today. That's a vintage clip that will go into a treasure bag. a bunch of books look I was just walking by and there is a vintage troll this is a good one with the jewels in it so I'll definitely take that put that in my card here is a Lisa Frank coloring book but it's new because it's got a website on there so it's a new one but and it's been colored in that would be fun. And the pokey little puppy. That'll go into a treasure bag. Oh, I already know what this is without even flipping it over, but it's in really dirty, rough shape, so it's going to stay behind. Oh, and it doesn't work. Maybe it needs new batteries. I don't know, but I don't want to clean that up. That is it's really, really, really dirty. Look at this baby. She's vintage, but something happened to her face. She's old. I've never seen one like this. I wonder if it like sings or something when you push on the belly or lights up. It's supposed to light up. It's like a, a glow worm, but it's a glow person. I don't know. I'm leaving it behind because it's in rough shape. See 
Well, what do you think, Betty? Oh, there you go. There's a whole bunch of foot. Betty, there's a whole bunch. I don't want that. Oh. I did just find one of these and sing him a jig. This one's in pretty good condition. Um, there's no batteries in it, so I'm gonna take it and take a chance on it and see if it works. This is really pretty, but it's in really rough shape. Let's see, on the inside, it's all missing. It's cool. One of the best Christmas movies ever. Okay, so I'm cleaning out my car here. I got another Vera. I'm going to have to look this one over good. But I'm going to have to put the cute little Indian top back because it's broken and all rusty and it doesn't work. Um, it would make a really cute display piece, but I think it's going back. Okay, well, I forgot to record a little outro from the bins, but we made it home and I ended up spending a total of $22. So I think I did pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you everything that I got right now. So. Okay, this was one of the first things that I picked up. This is a vintage Wolverine refrigerator. It's like a kid's toy um, refrigerator. You can see it does have some wear from age, um, but you know, that's no biggie. It still has its red handles on the inside. You can see it's marked Wolverine. And then it also, in the fridge, you can see it's got little, like a decal food and stuff. So I thought this was a really good find in the bins. You don't see this stuff very often. And I love the red handles on there. So really cute refrigerator. You could open this up and then um, use it as a display. Like display stuff on there, little miniatures or whatever. I think that would be a cute idea. But I just really like the red handles. So that came home with me. I found uh, two trolls. This one has a jewel in its belly. Um, two trolls. So these will probably be in my um, pick three sale. I picked up this embroidered little tea towel type thing. I love it because it says hee haw, hee haw. See the little donkey? So cute. So that will go into one of those lots, one of these lots. I did pick up Luke two pairs of sunglasses. He's always asking me to find him sunglasses in the bins because he always loses his constantly. Um, and they're really expensive in the store, getting them in the bins. You don't really pay anything for them. So I did find him two pairs of sunglasses. I did pick up this really stinking cute, adorable vintage skunk plushie. Um, absolutely adorable. Look at the stitching on there. Isn't that cute? It is old. It is an old plushie. I love it. So I thought that was so cute and adorable. Then I picked up one of these little brushes. I know everybody likes these little brushes like this. You can hang it up and use it as decor. So I picked up that. I picked up a whole stack. Alex gave me, she found these in the bins and um, gave me part of her stack. So a whole bunch of these thank you stickers, which these are nice. So I won't have to order any off of Amazon right away. 
I picked up two Yuppie babies. These are absolutely adorable. I found two of them in the bins. This one's a little bit of a squeaker, but look at that face. <laughs> oh my gosh, they need a little bit of a bath and cleaning up, but they are so cute. So I thought those were fun. Then I picked up this awesome, I love, love, love this wooden box. It has a, it's all wooden carved, as you can see. And it's got a bird, it's got a bird carved on the top. It's in really, really, really nice condition. It's really, really nice wooden carved, carved wooden box. And it's even got the feet on there. Let's see. It's a really nice piece. So I thought that was fun. Um, I picked up four. I think I picked up four Vera Bradley bags. So this is one. I'll probably lot them all up in one lot together. Um, here's one. They're all in really, really nice condition. This one. This one. And then this one. And they're all four different styles. So, you know, whatever day, whatever, you know, you're using it for. This one's like a bigger bag. But they're all Vera Bradley, all in really, really good condition. Um, so, like I said, they're and they're all four different. So, whatever occasion you have um, to use a bag for, you can use a different bag. So, I, I thought those were cool. Then I picked up this. Now, I picked up this because... This is not something that I would normally pick up at all. Um, I actually picked it up and tried giving it to Alex, and she said no, she didn't want it. So then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do a really quick barcode search on there on eBay. So I did a barcode search. There's one listed right now, and there's three sold, and I will put the comps right here so you guys can see what they sell for. But I was in shock. I could not believe that these sell for like 75 to 80 dollars for this piece. This is crazy. So yeah, I hate as much as I hate to list on eBay, I might break down and go ahead and just list that on eBay. Then I picked up this vintage little piece. I got to look her up. I got to look that name up right there, but Look at this, totally vintage. It's velvet on the inside. It does have a little fuzzies. Isn't that cool? Really, really neat piece. Very vintage and probably from like the 70s, 80s, somewhere around there. I don't know, but I loved it. Then this is gonna go into a treasure bag the little book, the pokey little puppy. This is going to go into a pick three sale. It's a little Kate Spade wallet. So little nice little piece. It's got some pockets right there and the peppers, but Kate Spade. So that will go into a um, pick three sale. This will go into a treasure bag. It's a little keychain, a little tennis shoe keychain. This cute little doll, um, vintage, is marked Hong Kong. Um, look, you can turn the little knob up here and switch its faces. It's, it's happy. It's sad. It's just normal. It's just chilling. It's super cute. I love it. Like I said, it's marked Hong Kong on the back. Cute little rubber baby. 
I did pick up this thingamajig. I need to put batteries in it to make sure that it does work, but you push its button and it's supposed to sing. So these are pretty, pretty good money. So I picked up that one. One hanky. Alex found one hanky in the bins and gave it to me, so. I picked up that, then these. I know these are pretty popular. I found one of these in the bins. It's a fold out ruler, fold it out. Pretty cool. And then I picked up three, oh, before I picked up those three, I did pick up this. This, it'll go into a treasure bag. Cute little vintage manicure set. I like the red vinyl on there, so it is old. Okay, then I picked up three vintage baby quilts. And they're all three different. So this one. And these are baby quilts. So I will probably lot these up in one lot together. Since they're all three baby quilts. There's that one. There's this one. This one's super cute. See the little stitched people on there? Isn't that adorable? So cute, right? So that one. And then This one. Cute little vintage baby quilts. So like I said, I'll probably end up just slotting those three all up in one lot together. But that was my haul, guys. That is everything that I got for um, $20, $22. I don't think I did too bad for only spending $22. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today. But, but before we end this video, really quickly, I went to an estate sale. Um, and I want to show you guys that, that haul really quickly. Um, I ended up spending $26 at the estate sale. And so I picked up this. Absolutely love it. Vintage ashtray on a stand. Can you see the ashtray? And it has the metal stand to, that it's on. These, when I find these in antique stores and stuff like that, they are very expensive. So I was really glad that I found that. So you can take the ashtray out of the thing. Isn't that nice? I love it so much. So pretty, pretty cool piece. Then I picked up this beautiful green Viking glass dish. Absolutely stunning. I picked up not one <coughs> cute little rubber squeaker. These are like Edward Mobley or the Sun Rubber Co. I, they're marked on the bottom. I have my contacts in right now, so I can't see. But I picked up this little Lamy as well. Cute little squeakers. I thought these were adorable. And then I picked up this little guy. It is a single shaker. My mom thinks that she might have the one that matches this. Um, so she's going to look in her stuff and see if she does. But if she does, that would be cool. If not, it will. I'm thinking I might have a pick three Christmas sale sometime. So that would be fun. Then I picked up a pair of these beautiful, beautiful um, glass swans, the art glass swans. Look how stunning the iridescent color is on there and the wings. They're both absolutely gorgeous. There's no chips or cracks. So I love the iridescent look to those. So those. Then this, I picked up the... Um, 
There's only one, I think, mushroom one in there. I think the other two are different, but there's two more in there. But there's this one, which is the reason why I picked it up because look, it's got a little thing. You can hang it on your gallery wall in your kitchen, which do I have a spot for it? Maybe. Do I need it? Not really, but it's really cool. Love mushrooms. And then these two were in there. These two quilted ones. These would be really, really cute for a gallery wall too. If you have like a cottage core design or, you know, if you like the colors green and yellow, put this in your, hang these up in your kitchen. Really cute. And then the last thing I picked up at the estate sale was these. Look, they are in their original box. I couldn't believe it. Let me put the lid back on. Let me put the lid back on and then I will open them up and reveal them to you. Oh my gosh. Never have I seen the original box ever. So stinking kitschy and cute, right? Original box. Love these. And then you open them up and ta-da! They're all in there. So awesome. Such a cool, cool find. Do I see a date on these? I would say probably from the set, um, 70s. That was what I was going to say. And it says 1976. 1976 Hong Kong. Crystallite Pets. Awesome and amazing. So that is my haul, guys. Um, that is everything that I got for at that estate sale. Um, I spent $26. So I don't think I did too bad at all with everything I got. So comment below again and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today. Either at the Goodwill bins or at the estate sale. And if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun finding these vintage treasures. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.